monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> camera's on, so whenever you're ready. All right. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, August 14th, 2022. Week 193. Schedules are very different here lately. Um, had an early, early shift. I had an opening shift yesterday, so there was no way I was getting up that extra early. <laughs> For a keto update? For a keto update, yes. But we're getting it in real quick today before yeah. work. Yeah. So that works. It does. Yeah, it's still the weekend, technically. It is. Um, I'll go first. Um, last week I weighed in at 163. This morning I weighed in at 164. My period was supposed to be here four days ago. It's not here. I'm having all the effects of it supposed to be here, and it's not. Just not feeling good. Sorry. Oh, my God. I'm like, my chest is hurting. I just, I feel like I'm in the middle of a period. and I don't even nothing. know what to say. I'm I, sorry for you. I can't relate, but I guess I could understand that you're uh, just feeling yucky. Yeah. So it's not the best week for you. No. Okay. No. Not at all. And last week I was 345, and this week I was 346, so I'm up one. Um, we were doing a ton of work outside this week. On Thursday, we were outside for hours. I mean, I'm still sunburned. My neck is all raw. Uh, but unfortunately, during that time period, I felt. Uh, we were working on gutters. We were cleaning gutters and cleaning them out. And he was not on the ladder. Oh, we no. Not I know him. better than that. He I... fell in the grass. Thank yeah. goodness, buddy fell right on a rock. Yeah, I hurt that myself was pretty in bad. The grass. So since Thursday, I've barely moved. And I've been on pain pills and trying to get some normalcy back and just movement. Yeah. I'm sore. <clears throat> But uh, we did get a lot accomplished outside, and I was very happy with how much. And we fixed two sprinkler heads that were bad that we had to get into the we had ground. Had to play and, in the mud. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and we did a lot of other things like that. Um, and uh, thanks for everybody looking into our whiskey burger seasoning. You know that stuff. We tried it, and, yeah. and we were recommend. It was recommended to us, so we just grabbed one and tried it. Right. Thinking whiskey burger. You know what. How bad could that be? Well, dummy me didn't flip it over and read the ingredients. It's got a nice kick and a zing to it for a burger, so I never assumed that it had any kind of a, a sweet flavor or anything like that. But long yeah. story short, yeah, it's not very good. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is look at the ingredients and see what we can't replicate for, our, for our own to yeah. give that same kind of a kick and taste. But maybe for the, the sweeteners, just take that out or... Add some swerve in there or something simple. Yeah. Just to see if we can get something very similar. Tonight we're going to do cubed up chicken on the grill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that should be good. I like the chicken on the I grill. like it a lot. Yesterday I had a piece of chicken um, with lemon squeezed on it. I know that sounds so basic, but it was really good. It, it was just really gives good. it a different taste. <laughs> it did. Uh, so for lunch I had a full chicken breast and... Um, some salad and it was quite yummy. I enjoyed it. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm shaking. Yeah. Sorry. You're shaking the entire couch. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you're just <clears throat> anxious and nervous and want to get moving, huh? <sighs> I'm irritated. I'm frustrated. It's been a not so wonderful week for me. Yeah. <laughs> Fallen didn't help not for sure. All. So, but you know, I guess if that's all that happened that was bad this week, then then I'll take it. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm awake, I'm here. This is true. I'm barely awake. I'm not even drinking coffee in the mornings, and that's usually what would get me going. <laughs> coffee yeah. and adrenaline, just get up and get moving. And I don't know, I'm trying to stay away from that. It's, it's certainly helped with all the heart palpitations I was having. We did a bunch of change-ups on my medicines. So far, I'm not seeing anything, but I got to give it time. You do. I do. It's for other it. things, not not for diabetes or anything. I, I've got some other issues going on, and I just feel like I'm falling apart lately. I don't mm. know. Not a lot to fall apart. It's not a, I don't know. I'm trying to be positive about it, but it's it's frustrating when things take longer than you want them to, and yeah. your your mind says do this, this, and this, and your body's <laughs> like, ah, hey, you're funny. <laughs> it's not gonna happen today, you're right? <laughs> Especially when I can barely move. When I fell, I fell into this one kind of like about the size of a football, 
there was a mm -hmm. rock, and I hit that it was right into my in the ground, so the rock didn't move at all. Yeah, right, right into my ribs. So I but don't. Fortunately, he missed the two big containers. Um, we were using a ladder from our neighbor, so we were cutting through her yard, which she's not familiar with, nor am I. Um, and there was a dip in his. I thought he broke his ankle actually. Mm -hmm. um, and then he went down and landed. He was like this far, his head far from the metal container yeah, that she had. That she has hurt. a raised up um, garden bed. Garden bed because we have a lot of we're marshland behind us, so we have a lot of critters. And he was very close to have hitting it. Um, I was hit it less than six inches from my head going into that. Yeah. But um, I'm glad I didn't. I really hurt myself. My my leg, my hip, my ankle, my rib is killing me. But I've broken enough bones to know what it feels like when I break a, a rib <laughs> or a, an ankle or something. And nothing nothing gave me that. I mean, I'm just really sore. I just got beat up. Yeah. So, I don't know, a couple more days, maybe some more ibuprofen and try and get moving. Some I, rest. I haven't even been able to get downstairs. I can't go down the stairs right now. Um, that's where my pedal bike is. Yeah. I don't even know that I'd be pedaling right now because I'm just sore. It all hurts up that but, left side. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to just try and take it easy on foods this week and do my carb manager and just stick with really, really basics. Tonight I'm looking forward to that little bit of chicken. Yeah. And we've got some things in the freezer too. I've got a, a fat head crust that I can make into a pizza you one do. day. Um, I've got the meatballs. We we made the keto meatballs. Mm -hmm. Um. I have to try and load you up before I leave. I'm going to Vegas with our oldest daughter. Yeah, I was next scheduled Saturday. to. I was scheduled to go to, and I have a flight and everything. But I'm there's no way I'm physically going to be able to. And our youngest daughter doesn't want to go anyway. We were staying at a really nice resort, more just to go look at four different walls. But she's in band. She's starting her freshman year. She did band camp mm -hmm. um, last week, all of last week, nine a.m. to nine p.m. So she's super. She's excited and doesn't want to go. She's not a great traveler nowadays. Um, yeah, she's so she doesn't want to go. She's still got band practices that I'll take her to. And and to be quite honest with you, there's no way. I mean, I can't get up from the bed and go to the kitchen and back to the bedroom. Or to the living room. Hiking through an airport. Yeah, and... running around airports, running around Vegas, which everything in Vegas is exaggerated. A, a block in Vegas is like a quarter mile. You know, it's right. not like just... Go to the next place. These places are enormous. And the good thing is that Couldn't Lauren went to school in Ann Arbor, U of M. So she's used to walking to all of her yes. classes. And I walk at least eight miles a day at Costco. And it's good timing. You so, guys could use to go get away and yeah. just enjoy the resort. Do some walking around. Be safe. You know. Um, and, I'm looking and, forward to being at the resort by the pool. Yep. Just and enjoy it. really doing not anything. And that's kind of what a vacation yeah. is supposed to be. I wasn't really planning on doing anything either. Not really a big gambler or nothing. No. Nah. Mm -hmm. The only reason we're going there is because my mom's timeshare stuff that she left us when she passed. We yeah. we have to start using these or, or we're going to lose them in March, I think. We actually year. booked it back in 2019 we, yeah. we booked to go in 2020 and then everything got canceled because of COVID. So, yeah. And now it was our use it or lose it. it was a two-year use it or lose it date. So yep. we're using it. Yeah. <laughs> Just but it'll be nice. Fun. It'll be nice. I'm It'll looking work forward out. to it. It'll work out good, and you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Won't be much different than when you're home anyway, because I don't see you when you're home anyway. Oh, I'll it's talk to nice. you, though. I'll talk to you at night. Yeah. I hope, you know, it might be a little bit more of a challenge for you with the keto stuff when you're on vacation. You've got a full kitchen there and everything. Yeah. And you do have a shuttle bus that'll run you to a grocery store, mm -hmm. so you could try to, you know, stick to your very basic stuff. It, I always find it hard to travel when we're doing keto because it's like, hmm, part of you is like, stop and get this quick and easy, you know. And if we did stop somewhere, I'd just like get a hamburger and strip the bun off of it. Yeah. The nice thing is that it's going to be hot out there and I'm not a... Big, warm yeah. weather eater. Yeah. yeah you're not going to want to fill Especially up. Especially if it's hot, you know. I love like egg salad or tuna. Um those are just some of the basics. Um, eggs, I really actually like eggs. Uh, <laughs> I do too, but I got to mix it up. I got to put something in it to make it taste different or make it a different way. The sunny side up eggs or yeah. something like that. Just do them different. I just do scramble because I'm lazy. <laughs> and then I throw some bacon bits in it or something. Yeah. 
Or a little cheese. If we have some cheese around, I'll throw a little cheese in it. Yeah. Not, not Stacy amounts, but just a little bit. I like cheese. Well, anyway, we're gonna get we're gonna get moving here today. I hope everybody's doing well. And if you're doing keto, I hope you stick with it and you're doing well with it. Um, I would say that lately I'm just feeling a little bit like my keto stuff is not so strong. My keto force, you know. Yeah. Like my, like some kind of a Star Wars force field thing has just kind of been diminished by falling and feeling horrible. And uh, I just want to feel better. I just want to feel better. No. And uh, I want to scruffy. Yeah, I, you know, next time you see me, it'll be like witness protection or something. Because <laughs> I, I swear, I'm gonna shave my head. <laughs> I got the little flow and, <laughs> and shave my head, and then I'm gonna shave this all off because I was feeling pretty scruffy since Thursday when I fell and just it's like my power level went from about seventy or eighty down to about fifteen percent, and I just don't even want to move. Um, somehow, I still managed to force food in my fat face but you know i don't know but i am gonna shave and like cut my hair and stuff so next week when you see me this will all be different this is really long for me i don't know to me that's long if we were going to vegas i'd probably just shave my head because it'd be like never mind no you want a little hair because then the sun will get you right so just a shorter All right, guys, we're going to we're going to take off. Hope you all have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.